There's no denying that talking about race can often become heated, divisive, and downright uncomfortable. The Living Undivided show, hosted by Chuck Mingo, exists to be a place where conversations on race are approached with grace and empathy. Chuck is the founder and CEO of Courageous Love, a racial healing, solidarity, and justice movement launched in 2015. Through the movement, thousands of participants have been catalyzed into action. Each week on the show, Chuck introduces the audience to a guest who is a change agent, reaching across racial lines and working toward racial healing. These stories are examples of the grace, boldness, and courageous love necessary to bridge the divide in our country. This is Living Undivided. Well, welcome to another episode of Living Undivided. I'm Chuck Mingo, and every week we want to bring you stories of people who are living out the vision of bringing people together across racial lines. I am so excited today because I am with some rock star women who are doing that through running. And so I'm going to do some introductions here just so people can get a flavor for who's in the in the room with me today. So first we have Keisha Asabuhi, right? Did I say that right? Yes, you did. (laughs) (laughs) Come on now. Um, She is the owner of Originalities. That's where we actually are filming right now. I love her uh, mission statement over there, bringing people together one t-shirt at a time. And uh, one of the things that you may not know about Keisha that we just learned is she actually has her pilot's license as well. So um, we're trying to figure out where she'll fly us. We want to get her to fly us to some cool place. We'll see if that happens. But um, immediately to my left is Erica Palmer. And Erica Palmer is with an organization called Black Girls Run, um, where she is an avid runner. She said there's only 52 weeks in a year, and she spent about 50 of them pre-COVID doing running events. So an avid runner, passionate about what she does, and we'll get to unpack and talk about that. And then to my right is Jen Loving. Yes. And Jen is with Fleet Feet, which is a great running, um, gosh, what, what, how would you describe Fleet Feet? I know they oh sell sneakers, but I feel like it's a yeah. movement. Like it it's is, more it than, truly is. It really is. It is. It's yeah. a specialty store, but it's truly a community. And that's why yeah. we work so well together with Black Girls Run and with uh, Originalities. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You were so passionate about it. You went from being one of the people who was in the training yes. to actually being one of the, now the person who leads the training that's right. yes. programs. Yes. And, uh, and I will just say, this is going national. We're in Cincinnati. Cincinnati. And I got to tell you, one of the things I love about my city, Cincinnati, is the running community. Mm -hmm. It really is a special community. So why don't we just start there? Why don't you just talk about how did you get into running in the first place? Who wants to start? So for me, it was just like super random. Like one day I was actually at Crossroads and they were starting a running group. And I said, you know, I want to try to do a 10K and kind of, you know, start doing that training. I talked to a friend and she said, are you sure you're training for a 10K? And come to find out, um, the half marathon was only running a mile over what I was running. Uh-huh. So I decided to you know, go for the half marathon <laughs> and there you have it. So that's where it started and here's where we are today. I love that. That's a great, that's a great strategy. So just tell people they're running a 10K. <laughs> <laughs> Train them for a half marathon and just tell them, just keep going. That's right. Yes. <laughs> it worked for you. Exactly. Keep that's running. So good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, for me, um, the, how I originally, originally started running was um, I was a new mom and my body was <laughs> literally, <laughs> and my girlfriends were having their kids, one and two, and they were snapping back is what I call it. So I asked them, what's your secret? And they said running. Okay. So it okay. was all about running. And at that time, some of the um, 5Ks, that was becoming lingo, right? So I just started there and, and she's 19, so 19 years ago, and I would just do a 5K, 10k half marathon and just kept going yeah no, i love that i love that what's the longest you've now run right right so we were just talking a little bit about all trust that's crazy to me <laughs> right right all trust but for me the 26.2 okay so right. the marathon and that's it awesome. is a beast that you know i've done some and i've like well i did i've never really kind of done it in the way i have in my mind <laughs> so i got to keep coming back doing it yes. right so yes. 26.2 that's good that's great awesome. And then for me, I just started because my daughter was um, training for cross country and I didn't want her running by herself on her off days. So I would go out there with her and then it kind of just 
went along. Uh, my husband had a, when he turned 40, he's older than me. I have to always preface it with that. <laughs> you say that with a little uh -huh. bit of like. Oh yeah, like I can jam him on that one. Uh, when he turned 40, he had a bucket list and we are uber competitive. So I'm like, oh yeah, I can finish your bucket list too. So it about killed me and I think I finished more than he did. So I finished the half marathon and he stopped training. So. It just kind of went on from there. So whenever he gets grumpy with me, because I'm always gone every weekend too, I'm like, it's your fault. It's that bucket list. So, <laughs> and got you started. That's right. And it just uh, became a passion. So, yeah. Wow. That's, that's so awesome. good. It's so good. And, and, and all of you are kind of in this space in different ways. Um, I'd love for, like, talk a little bit about Black Girls Black Girls Run. Like, yes. I think that's a, it's a national organization, so people yes, might is. have a, yes, a chapter is. where they are, but talk a little right, bit about that. Right, right, right. So it is just an awesome organization, and people say, why do you gotta say Black Girls Run, right? And what it really is, is just letting black women know that you can do this, mm -hmm. right, right? Mm -hmm. It's letting black women know that you can incorporate this running thing into your life and get the nutritional benefits, get the physical benefits, and then the great thing about Black Girls Run, it's a sisterhood. So you get the sisterhood benefits. Like I would tell everyone too, um, the, the miles I get with my, my running buddies, my black girls run, m m running buddies just bond us together, right? Mm -hmm. So it's pretty awesome that way. I love that, yeah. yeah. You, you talk about a lot of things when you're getting miles together, right? Yeah. You, oh my goodness. It's not easy to stay surface <laughs> right. for very long the more that you run with someone, right. I find Well, that. you know, you gotta get that run fitness because sometimes your lungs are burning, right? right? But right. once you get there, the conversations are awesome because you do, you're out there for hours, yes. hours sometimes, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you two are doing something really cool in Cincinnati called Run United. Mm -hmm. So talk about that. Talk about yeah. how that birthed and, and what that is. <laughs> so it was funny. Um, it was just, it was almost kind of random, but not random. So like literally I've been a part of a couple of different running groups and things like that. And I realized there's not a lot of people who look like us or me, I should say. And so I wanted to create a space that um, kind of brought all different types of people together. But on top of that, like after the protests and things like that, I had people reaching out like to the store, asking us like, what can we do? What can we do? Like what, how can they take the step beyond, you know, the protests and all of that? Right. So then, you know, I reached out to, um, I reached out to Jen and Erica and was just like, hey, what do you all think about this? And then they were like, uh, of course, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm on board, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how everything got birthed. Um, I figured, of course, if I'm going to, if we're going to have a running group, we need to be intentional. So that's exactly why we got, you know, the two running groups together. And then we have, you know, we're in a neighborhood that's full of runners yeah. and walkers. Not just, it's, I want to make it clear that it's not just for runners. Mm -hmm. That's a good it's, point. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. It's for walkers. We have people with strollers. We have kids coming, yeah. you know, adults, people of all fur ages. Fur babies, dogs, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. What you call fur babies? Yes. yes. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I've not heard that term before. <laughs> right? Right. They're out there. Yes. 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 So it's this community, and so what? What is it, Jen? What What happens? What is Run United doing right now? And so, you know, for me personally, it's an actionable item, right? I can have complete empathy. I have never been in your shoes. I don't know what you all have lived and been through. Um, and I am a doer, and I want to fix things. And I know that I can't fix things immediately, but by golly, Run United is a step in the right direction. Yeah. And so it's bringing people together who don't look like me, mm -hmm. who we can have conversations and, um, you know, it's like Keisha and I have known each other forever. We're texting on days that we don't have Run United. Yeah. And so, um, and, and without that, I, I might not know Keisha. Yeah. So it's just for me personally, this is an actionable item that I can do something in my community and make that difference and, um, you know, bring people together. That's awesome. So right now it's every other Thursday. Mm -hmm. And two miles, four miles, what's the? One, two, and four. One, two, and four. Yep. So you can opt in to whatever distance yes. you want. And, 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 and tell me, like, you know, when you show up for this, mm -hmm. how do you make sure people make those connections? I mean, it, that, that doesn't necessarily happen, right? So, right. Right. so what you have the best saying. Yes. yes. <laughs> so I tell people, like, yes, you're here for, you know, to get the exercise for the miles and stuff like that. But if you don't meet someone who doesn't look like you, you didn't do your job. So you can erase all your miles that you That's right. <laughs> These miles don't count yeah. if you don't make you can that erase connection. Them if you did not meet and connect with someone who didn't look like you. Mm -hmm. So that's, I mean, that's the whole purpose of Run United. We're not just here to, to just run. Like running is fun, you know, but yeah. well, when you get in shape, it's fun. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> it doesn't start out fun if yeah. you're not in yeah. shape. That's true. But the mm -hmm. thing is, like, 
just think about it. Like if you're running with somebody who doesn't look like you, yeah. you begin to, we're more alike than we are different, mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. So then you get to connect with someone, even if it's for every other, it may be every other week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. look forward to seeing this person. Mm -hmm. And then you keep coming back yeah. to meet other people and yeah. things like that. So it is an actionable item where you get to meet people who don't look like you. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And it's actually a good mix of people, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. yes. So there's no way, there's no reason to not meet anyone who doesn't look like you. It's, right. I mean, it's a variety of all different types of people. Yeah. You know, in all different types of places. So. It's an easy assignment. Yeah. Yes, yes, that yes. meeting someone. And yes, so we keep the pace comfortable too, right? Mm -hmm. So that we can. We make intentional stops even mm -hmm. so that we can bond and get together and take a selfie pic, right? Yeah. 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 So it's yeah. an easy assignment. Yeah. yeah. I love yeah. that. Easy, but also impactful. Yes. yes. Impactful, because you know I, I think there's power, and you know for for people who are engaging in this, you, you may want to start this. Maybe this is something that they want to mm -hmm. start in their community. Um, it's not only the people who get the experience, but the community that sees this. Right? Mm -hmm. You're establishing a cultural norm of mm -hmm. people who are diverse coming together and doing something positive together. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that people have you. Do you have any stories about that? People noticing what you're doing. People kind of calling out that, mm -hmm. hey, what is this thing? You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can see it when we're leaving, you know, yeah. when we're leaving the shop, because we're in the East Walnut Hills Business District, mm -hmm. and you'll see people, we have a bar literally right across the street, <laughs> and they're looking like, what's going on, yes. you know? Or even when we're running by different businesses and running by different people, and they're just looking like, what's going on, you know? And we try to invite them on the run, you yes. know, right. literally. Yes. We get but. horn honks, yeah. <laughs> beep beep, and the thumbs up. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. yes, yes, yes. So people are noticing. Yes. The community is taking notice. Yes. Man, I, I'd love to know, I mean, you know, it, it sounds wonderful, right? It sounds easy. This isn't easy. <laughs> this isn't easy. What you're doing is very intentional and it takes work. So talk about some, what are some of the lessons learned or challenges that you had to overcome and kind of bringing this thing to life and even in the midst of doing it? I guess I'll say it. So when Keisha brought it to me, I was like, it was literally, what was it, like March or, um, yeah, it was March, February. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, of 2020. Of 2021. 2021. And we were like, I was like, pandemic. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <laughs> you want to do what? And she was yeah. like, you know, yeah, I get that. We'll make sure we keep everyone safe. You know, it's an outdoor activity, but we really need this. Mm -hmm. And so I started to think about it and say, I agree, we need this. Yeah. So that was really one of the biggest hurdles. Everything else, again, is because we are so excited. It's the best part of my week, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So putting in the work, it doesn't feel like work. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We yeah. just kind of get it done, and we want to see it happen, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I think the biggest thing, people show up, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, initially getting things started, it may have been harder, but I think that it's – really not that hard when you're intentional about mm -hmm. you know inviting different types of people getting two totally different you know running groups together to come as one you know and I think that we're just barely you know getting to the surface of things yeah. you know yeah. things could go a long way and I feel like we're really just getting started most of it's word of mouth and people seeing other people like yesterday um, when we did run united People were literally, we found out how people found out about this. And most of people found out from somebody else they knew. That's cool. You know? Just a personal invitation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or, and or, the most interesting thing is yesterday there was a traveling nurse mm -hmm. who wasn't from here. Huh. And literally she was looking up running groups and found our running group. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So we haven't done any advertisement. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. It's word of mouth. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, that's so mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And every one we fill the shop. So it, yep. and it's been, you know, not everyone can fit in in their schedule weekly like right. we do, right? right? But yeah, it's been a different mix, but yeah. fill the shop. Yeah. 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 And um, I have to say, go ahead, what were you gonna say? No, I was just gonna say that very first time that we were texting up until the event time, we're like, how many people do you think? Right. right. And we're like, I don't know, we'll be, we'll be happy with 20. Yes. Yeah. I think yeah. we had 40 wow. that first yeah. night. Wow. And then it's just, and every, every, every or the Thursday, we kind of look at each other like, oh my God. And then we always <laughs> take a picture and we're like, yes. Yes. So, yeah. so it, and it's not died down and it's it's just keeps moving and grooving and literally we've got a Facebook and a page and yep. an events page on both of our websites and that's that's mm -hmm. all the advertising we've done. That's so awesome. yeah. Tell people where they can find that. 
where, where can they where can they connect with you on the socials and if they want to be a part of this in the Cincinnati area or sure. even just to learn more? So for us, um, it's on FleetFeetCincy with a Y dot com. Okay. Um, and then there's a little drop down page and you can go right to Run United. Um, we also have a Facebook page as well. And what we it was we had to name it something specific. It was Run United at Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yep. Okay. And then yeah so like even on our page we have it on our website and then we just got some flyers created so we have flyers and posters and things like that so we'll be putting them up at different businesses but people can head to our website and like she said the social media pages and things like that mm -hmm. yeah. and your website is originalities okay. like t-e-e-s okay dot com All right. yeah awesome. <laughs> talk about commitment i mean we're in cincinnati it's 2021 and we have 17 year cicadas all over the place. <laughs> it's crazy right now. And I don't know yeah. what it is about human sweat, but they seem to like human sweat. Because when I'm running right now, I'm like, they're all yeah. over me. And even with that, you still have people coming out. I mean, that, yes. that says something about what you've created and why people want this. And I just think you're right. We're in a season right now where there's so many things that divide us. Mm -hmm. And yet, you're a perfect example of what living undivided is all about. How do you, despite the challenges, bring people together in an intentional way. I love mm -hmm. what you said, in an actionable item, mm -hmm. right? So we're not just talking about it, it's not right. just conversation, mm -hmm. but people get to do something. Mm -hmm. So um, so as we wrap up, I would love for the three of you to just define that. You know, all, one of the things I love to end with every time we do this show is to say, what does it mean to you to live undivided? So all the three of you just fill that sentence in however you want to. Okay. Um, I'll start. So <laughs> it, it happened for me yesterday, at yesterday's Run United. Um, I was walk. I would kind of walk here from Evanston. So I'm in, this is my community. This is my neighborhood. And I have told my neighbors, I've told all my neighbors about it. I've almost gone, knocking door. You know about Run United, right? Right, right? So they know I planted the seed. And yesterday I get a text, like, just before I walk up here saying, hey, Erica, can I come up with you? Oh. My neighbor, mm. right? Mm. And so literally I'm at her door, like ringing her doorbell, like, get your running <laughs> shoes on, let's go. Mm. And we were excited and she wanted to run up here. She yeah. was so excited, but I was like, no, we would, it's okay. <laughs> Pace yourself. Pace yourself, yeah. right? But yeah, that was awesome. Mm. And we're new neighbors. So it's yeah. for me an, an opportunity to get to know her. And mm -hmm. I, you know, we, it's, that's it. That is it, right? I love it. So awesome. living undivided is about knowing your neighbors and loving your neighbors well. Neighbors. Yes, mm -hmm. I like that. All right, I'll go. Um, to me, my running community is my family. Mm -hmm. So Run United is just extending my family. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Run United for me is, it is an actionable step. You know, so it's one where I, as well as the company, are taking actionable steps to help bring people together. Mm -hmm. So to me, like Run United and Undivided is kind of like one. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. we're different, but we are mm -hmm. doing the, the same, same thing, mission. same mission, the mission. And yes. things like that. So it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And then, like you said, I do encourage people to do this on their own. Like, yeah. we actually have had like Body Armor like decide they wanted to like donate drinks for us. So wow. after every run. We have like drinks and water bottles and towels and like people are really reaching out to us. Organizations are reaching out to us wondering like how can we, you know, what can we do? How can we uh, support this mission even further? Yeah. So it's pretty good. That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. very good. Well, Keisha, Erica, Jen, I want to say thank you for not just having this be an idea, but bringing the idea to life. <laughs> lacing up your shoes and running with the idea <laughs> literally and figuratively and i'm just so glad to to know you i'm gonna be doing run united runs and yeah. so if you want to jump into that with me um, i'll be putting some dates when i'm gonna be out uh, hanging with you guys as well running at the comfortable pace i like that idea <laughs> of running at a comfortable pace um, <laughs> i'm up for that Good. so thank you so much for being with me today thank, thank you, you. This episode of Living Undivided is brought to you by Courageous Love, a movement on a mission to unite and ignite people toward racial justice. The show is produced in Cincinnati, Ohio. You can learn more about our host, Chuck Mingo, and the movement by visiting www.chuckmingo.com. That's all for this episode. Join us next time for another episode.